Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are going over my collection of personal sunglasses. So here we can see there are a ton of different sunglasses on the table. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time with every single pair, but I'm going to try every single pair on and give a brief overview of each pair. So let's start off with the first pair that Persil ever produced, and that is the Persil 6 for nine. These sunglasses are absolutely classics and they have a very masculine looking style to them that are going to really hold up the test of time. These sunglasses still somehow look modern and it's actually one of my favorite pairs of sunglasses ever. It definitely is in my top five. You just really cannot beat the Persil 649 sunglasses. These sunglasses first came out in 1957 and they still look fantastic to this day. The particular size that I'm wearing right now are the 54 millimeter variant. I do also have the 52 millimeter variant, which is a little bit smaller, of course, and these sunglasses also look really good on my face. So here with the Persil 649, you definitely have some variety as far as sizing goes. With my particular face size, I can definitely pull off both the 54 and the 52 millimeter size. I believe that the 54 looks a little bit more masculine with its oversized styling. So the next pair we're gonna talk about here is a pair of folding Persil Clubmaster sunglasses. And the model number of these is Persil 3132. And as we can see here, these look very similar to a pair of Ray-Ban Clubmaster sunglasses. But what's really cool about these is they fold in like this, which is really cool and interesting. Uh, of course, Ray-Ban does make a folding pair of Clubmasters as well, but these are built out of higher end materials, beautiful acetate frames, and of course, they also do have the Flecto stem system like every single pair of personal sunglasses has that's going to allow these sunglasses to bend out and give a custom fit to anybody's face. As far as looks go, they look absolutely incredible, and I'm never going to sell this pair of sunglasses. The next pair we have here is a pair of Persil 714 SM sunglasses. So these are the actual Steve McQueen edition of the 714. And these sunglasses look really, really good on face. I really like this color combination. Unfortunately, Persil does not sell this color combination anymore. Of course, as of when filming this video, they might bring it back. But I really do like the style of these sunglasses and the difference between the Steve McQueen edition and just the normal 714 sunglasses are the Steve McQueen edition temples actually fold in like this where the standard ones are going to fold down. I'm going to show you guys that when I get to that pair of sunglasses, but these are really cool and definitely very unique. And I absolutely love the styling of these frames. You really can't go wrong with a pair of 714 SM sunglasses. Now the SM version is going to run you about a hundred dollars more than the standard version. So definitely keep that in mind. Okay, so next up, I already talked about the Persil uh, 649, but I actually have a vintage pair of Persil 649 sunglasses, and these sunglasses are truly incredible. And these are actually one of my favorite colorways that Persil ever has produced with these silver mirrored frames. I think they look absolutely amazing with these uh, glossy acetate frames. I just think they look really, really, really nice. And this pair is probably selling for around $600 to $800 on eBay. So they are definitely very rare. And of course, like I said, these are vintage and they don't even produce a new style that looks like this, but I absolutely love these frames and these definitely are not going anywhere. However, with the older vintage styles, the acetate frames tend to get very brittle with age, so you have to be very careful not to break them, which is definitely a little bit annoying. Okay, so the next pair we have here is the Persil Typewriter Edition. So the model number of these is 3108. And as you guys can see here, these sunglasses again look really, really good. They have a very vintage, you know, 1960s styling to them. What's really cool about these, they actually have a three little barrel Meflecto stem system where all those other sunglasses actually have a two barrel system. So they're gonna be a little bit more comfortable and they're going to bend out even better, which is really nice. They do have fully adjustable nose rests. And overall, I just really like the styling of the Persil typewriter sunglasses. They just look really good. Okay, so next up we have here is very similar looking to the Persil Typewriter Edition, uh, but they're gonna be a little bit different here. These are the Persil 3186 sunglasses, and I absolutely love this colorway. They have these kind of purple blue lenses, which look really good, and they have a flat lens design. Let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on so you guys can see what they look like. And here we can see these are a little bit more squared off than those Persil Typewriter sunglasses are, but I absolutely love this core combination, like I said, and 
and that's why I decided to go ahead and pick this pair up. Okay, so the next pair we have here is again actually one of my favorites, and this colorway is actually extremely rare. I actually haven't seen this exact colorway even on eBay for about eight years now, which is actually very shocking. They have photochromic lenses and they have these beautiful brown horn frames. Now the model number of these is the Perso 9649. And these are very similar to the classic Perso 649, but as you guys can see, they're a little bit more slimmed down, a little bit more modern. They have these more slimmed down uh, temples as well. And I absolutely love this pair. Like I said, they have photochromic polarized lenses and these just look absolutely incredible on my face. I am a really, really, really big fan of these frames. and then Unfortunately, I actually have to baby these because I actually can't replace them even if I wanted to. Like I said, I've never seen another pair like this for sale, even on eBay, which is definitely unfortunate. But like I said, I absolutely love this pair and I will definitely be keeping that forever. Okay, so the next pair we have here is the Purcell 714 non-Steve McQueen version. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face so you guys can see how they look. And these are the 54 millimeter lens size. I really do like the looks of these, but like I said, they're very similar to the SM version. And again, the difference on these versus the SM version is the temples fold down rather than folding in, which is definitely very interesting. I absolutely love this pair. And I really do like this colorway with these blue lenses and these beautiful Havana frames, just a really fun pair of sunglasses. Okay, so the next pair we have here is the Purcell 8649 sunglasses. And I really do like these sunglasses as well. They have a very cool two-tone styling. So here up top, we can see that beautiful acetate material. And then here on the bottom, we can see a very nice metal material. I really, really do like the looks of these sunglasses, especially on my face. These look really good on basically anybody's face as well. These frames definitely take a lot of styling elements away from the original 649. And overall, they're just a absolutely beautiful pair of sunglasses. Now I just remembered every single pair of sunglasses here on the table all do have all glass lenses, which is very nice as well. I forgot to mention that more towards uh, the beginning of the video. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try to quickly tackle all these on the table. Here we have a very unique and interesting pair of Purcell sunglasses. The model number of these is Purcell 3217. These are very interesting because they have these spring hinges and of course they also do have protection for the third eye, which means it's actually a lens here up at the top, which is definitely very interesting uh, styling. These sunglasses actually first came out in the 80s and I just keep them around because they are definitely very quirky. And if I want to wear a pair of sunglasses that are definitely going to get a couple head turns, this is one of the pair of sunglasses that I will bring out. Really interesting pair here. So the next pair we have here is the Purcell 3170 Double Bridge. I do like the styling of these frames as well. They're just very classic looking pair of sunglasses. And I actually don't wear these sunglasses as often as I probably should, just because there's so many sunglasses here on the table, but definitely a very interesting pair of sunglasses. And it just has very nice and really good styling to them. Okay, so the next pair we have here is kind of a metal version of the original Purcell 649 sunglasses. So if you guys haven't noticed yet, Purcell really leans on their heritage and their history with the 649. Again, you can't be the looks, so I don't blame them for it. So a lot of these other frames are kind of reimagined 649 sunglasses, and these are basically just that. So the model number is 264. Four, nine, and these sunglasses have all metal frames with just a little bit of acetate here on the nose rest. And these sunglasses are extremely comfortable on the face. As far as looks go, again, they really knocked it out of the park with these frames. They even actually put in the classic uh, Purcell arrow here and the Meflecto stem system, which is really nice to see. This is just overall a very fun pair of Purcell sunglasses that I really do like a lot. Okay, so the next pair we have here is kind of similar to a pair of Ray-Ban New Wayfarers. The model number here is Purcell 2803. And these sunglasses look really, really good on face as well. In my opinion, these definitely look a lot better than the Ray-Ban New Wayfair sunglasses. Again, they have the personal arrows and the reflective stem system. Just a really cool looking pair of sunglasses that definitely looks very classy. Okay, so the next pair we have here is actually pretty unique for personal because they really don't do this quite often. It is actually a double bridge pair of sunglasses. So the model number of these is 3159. And again, these sunglasses do have pilot lenses and they have that really interesting double bridge 
paper design. These sunglasses, in my opinion, look very dressy, very fancy. You could definitely wear these sunglasses while wearing a suit or a tuxedo or something like that. They're just a very classy pair of sunglasses, and I really do like the gold double bridge on this pair of sunglasses. But again, the styling of these is very similar to the classic Perso 649, which is not a bad thing. Okay, so the next pair we have here is kind of similar to a pair of Ray-Ban Original Wayfair sunglasses, but kind of Purcell's uh, version of that. And these are the Purcell 3135 sunglasses. These sunglasses look really good on face, in my opinion. I really do like the classic styling of these. They offer very good coverage from sun because they do kind of wrap around the face. These are just another classic pair of Purcell sunglasses that look really good. And if you're looking to get into Purcell sunglasses, but you don't like, you know, the 649 style, this pair definitely might be for you. All right, so the next pair we have here is very similar to the Purcell 714 sunglasses, but these are actually a slimmed down version of the 714. So the model number of these is 9714. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face. And here we can see these also look really nice and interesting. And if you take a close look here, you can definitely see that they are a slimmed down version of the 714. So of course, that means that this pair does fold as well, but these fold down the way that the original 714 fold down. They don't fold down like the Steve McQueen edition, but these are just an absolutely gorgeous pair of personal sunglasses, and I really do like these a lot. These have, I believe, their tobacco Virginia frames, which just look absolutely beautiful in the sun. So definitely one of my favorites right there. Okay, so the next pair we have here, again, is a very similar pair to the uh, sunglasses right here, but these sunglasses actually have fully adjustable nose rests versus the acetate nose rests that are fixed on that pair. The model number of this pair is 7649, and again, these are basically another metal version of the classic 649 sunglasses. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face so you guys can see how these look. And I really do like the look of these sunglasses as well. Of course, I like the look of every single pair of these sunglasses. That's why they're in my personal collection of personal sunglasses. So yeah, I really like these sunglasses as well, but they really don't offer a ton of thrills or anything too crazy here on the frames. Just a very interesting pair of metal sunglasses. Okay, so the last pair we have here is actually one of uh, my favorite pairs because it is a limited edition pair of personal sunglasses. So these sunglasses in the inner right temple say 1917 to 2017. These sunglasses are a limited edition 100th anniversary pair of personal, which is really, really cool. I absolutely love this very fun colorway and the model number of these is 6649. They're just an absolutely beautiful pair of sunglasses and every single pair of these sunglasses say made in Italy in the inner right temple. This particular pair says made in Italy in Italian. So I really can't begin to read this to you but it says Flato El Milano Italia. I really have to apologize for my Italian viewers for absolutely butchering that, uh, but this is a very interesting pair of sunglasses. And this is probably one of the more special pair of sunglasses that I have here in my collection because they are the limited 100th anniversary pair of personal sunglasses. Even the box on this pair of sunglasses says, you know, 100th anniversary, and it comes with some really cool paperwork and uh, authentication cards and everything like that. Just a very cool pair of personal sunglasses and a little piece of their history. And then last here is just a smaller version of the Purcell 714 sunglasses. So these are the 52 millimeter size. I just pop these on really fast. And again, these are just the 714 uh, classic sunglasses, but in a smaller size. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below and let me know which pair do you guys think I'm missing? Which pair do you guys really like that I don't have here on the table? I am very interested to know. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up below. And of course, make sure to subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.